Yo, it's the last one for GoSec, and today I want to show you an awesome patcher that I've been using for ages basically. It is very flexible, very handy, very high quality. Let's waste no time. Okay, so this is the simplest thing ever, but it is very useful. So I have this patcher, well, it's a rack in Ableton format for a while, like, I don't know, like years, and I keep using it daily. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so let's create a new patcher. So we have the audio in and audio out. What we're going to do is use Citrus as a noise generator. It's very simple, just add plugin, use Citrus, and as you can see, it connected the from and the to. So if I play a sound, we can hear the sound, very, very simple. Now let's go to the presets and use the default one. And we can go to the operator and just use the noise. So we're having only a noise now. We're going to need a bandpass feeder because these noise sweeps, up and down sweeps, use, well, most of the times, bandpass feeders. And again, our job is very simple. Go to the feeder and choose the band and pull back the low. Now we don't hear any effect and that is because we haven't routed the filter output to the main output. And our job is very simple, we need to deactivate. We don't want to hear the unfiltered noise, so pull back the output on the first oscillator and crank up the frequency main output and this one. So we're hearing only the filtered noise now. Maybe add some resonance. Cool, and what we want to do is modulate only the cutoff. So right click on it and activate. And from this point, we will be able to control it using this lane. So let's go to the surface and add the knob. It doesn't really matter which knob. Let's use the dark soft, for example, this one. And maybe let's make it a little bigger. Cool, and just use the controller output to Citrus controller input. So from now, if we unlock this little tool icon. We can use the knob to control the cutoff. So we're almost done, but we need to add a few effects because no filter sweep or noise sweep is good without an effect. So first a parametric EQ, because I want to chop off the very lows. So we need a high pass. And let's set it to around like 300 hertz. So we don't want to have any raw rumble, sobby kind of frequency to it. Add the delay, a reverb, add the limiter to the end. And connect the output of the limiter to the FL Studio output. I want to swap to delay 3. Okay, I set the dedicate sum of the reverb a little higher and maybe add a lot more wet. And maybe you can play around with the size. This is based on your taste only. So. Yeah, it's really wide and really fat. So let's go and test it. Awesome. Now we need to modulate the filter knob. So right click activate, then create automation clip and just, you know, set a nice ramp. But before that, click on the song and play it. This is all, you have a really nice noise whip. You won't need any sample from this point because this does what you really need and it is very flexible. It is always on the highest quality and I hope you learned something today.